What's going on, boys and ghouls? As you know, I'm Chain Smoking Mike. Today isn't really a smoking review per se, but it's something a little bit more special to me. One of my side hobbies, if you are a astute uh, viewer of my channel, is odor bills, right? And um, in one of my local banks, they had a shitload of them. Uh, I bought like a lot of older fives and tens, but I'm in a really good mood. Two of the fives that I've got are really old. They're from the 1950s. We got a 1950D $5 bill. You can see the D right there. And they are like almost uncirculated. Like they feel super crisp for their age, which is a good thing if you are a uh, older bill collector and such. Um, in terms of what I'm going to do with them, I'm likely going to put them in a safety deposit box and just hold on to them because uh, once I have my own uh, kiddos and stuff, I, I, would, I want them to just appreciate and admire the old school aesthetic of the older bills. Here's the other 1950 uh, $5 bill. It's from Both of them are from 1950D. I even found a really interesting five that I've never seen before in terms of the 1963 series. We got a 19, actually it's 1950 as well, 1950E. It has Henry H. Fowler's signature on it. He was the Secretary of the Treasury during the very, very late 50s and mid 60s. So really I have three 1950 uh, fives. And I got another 19, no, actually, this is from 1963, 1963A, $5 bill, so 20 bucks right there. And a whole bunch of 10s from 1963, and I mean, these are beautiful, they're super crisp. And since I did a little work for, uh, with my dad, I figured... I want to check the bank, see if they got anything interesting. And man, they, I'm telling you, I lucked out big time. There's the others, 1963, 10. They're all, most of, if not all of them, are in really, really good shape, which I love. And I don't see um, bills uh, from the 60s that often, so I was super happy when they told me that they have a surplus of them. Uh, but yeah, like, I just have a whole bunch of uh, tens and fives and the reason why I went with tens and fives instead of like the medium to large bills is because I normally don't see small uh, bills of a really old era being the 60s and I got a couple uh, 1969 tens as well those will be a fine addition to my collection this one is a really interesting one it's just 1963 right most of the time, I tend to see the A's or the other uh, letter uh, series of 1963. This one is strictly 1963, as you can see here, right there. And, it, and the treasurer of the United States is Caitlin O'Hay. I think that's Garolyn. I could be wrong. I could have uh, butchered her name, but... I think that's the signature on that. This is probably the youngest out of the batch, 1977, but hey, I'd rather see of $100 worth of these any day during, um, over the newer builds. So there's my spiel on that. And, and I literally got like, what is it? 20 bucks in fives, right? In, uh, from 1969. And I'm telling you, I am literally shaking in my boots right now because I'm going to be straight up. I, when it comes to really old fives like of this style, I tend to see uh, fives from like the 80s, mid 80s to the very late 90s. The fact that they had a shitload of fives as dating as old as 1950, right, to as young as like 69, I, was, I just ha couldn't resist. But literally, I got like two fives right here. Both from 1969. And they are like pristine. Like there's no um, 
stains or nothing. So those are definitely going into my uh, collection. I even got another 63A uh, $10 bill. Immaculate condition. Virtual, and they feel super crisp. So they're about uncirculated in, in its condition, mind you. So I am in a very good mood right now. Uh, another 10 from 77. And I have another batch. But these are kind of more, I don't know, like they're cr crinkled and they have writing on them. So those particular old bills will probably be used as spending money. Probably for a good cigar because I don't know about you, but when you spend money like these all the time, you're special in a good way. Yeah, like this particular tent, it's a little crinkled and stuff. It's got a little folds. This one will probably be used as spending money. Same goes with this. There's like some uh, coffee stains and stuff, and it's been like folded a couple times. This one's been folded in the center, so it's not in the best shape, but it's still in presentable condition in terms of spending uses. This one has running on it. It's. Pr it looks like it's um, has... Um, what is it called? A pencil writing. That's what I was thinking. So I'll probably see if I can erase that. If not, then I'm just going to spend that one too. This particular five is really cool. It's not in best shape, but it's a 1969 star note. What's special about a star note, if you can see it, it's kind of hard to see with the camera, is they're made whenever the machine, the, the printing machine screws up. And to compensate that, they make the star notes. And another 1969 uh, 5. It's a little crinkled, but I'll probably use that as spending money for uh, something later. And this is probably the youngest out of all the 5s that I got that I wanted to get. A 1969A $5 bill. But yeah, I basically got like over $100 worth in older bills. Specifically, tens and fives for this uh, particular uh, instance. And I am just beyond happy right now because not only do I have a good amount that's going to go, definitely go in my collection, but I even have a fairly modest amount just for spending purposes and pleasures. But a vast majority of these bills are definitely going into my collection because they're immaculate in, in condition and they feel crisp. So... You know, when I get, you know, older, say 20 years down the road and still have them, I'll probably take them to like a antique shop and just sell them there or something. But that's just something that I wanted to share with all of y'all. If any of y'all also um, pay attention to older bills and stuff, feel free to uh, comment what your most uh, unique bill that you ever found was. And also, if you are able to, uh, uh, notify me of specific years and styles that I should uh, watch out for in terms of my collection. Because not only do I collect them, but sometimes if the bill is really hard to find and is valuable, I do like to sell them at uh, antique shops and, uh, coin, uh, and coin shops and stuff like that. So... Uh, I do appreciate any input that any of y'all can provide in that uh, field. So, there's that. And, as always, stay tuned for future upcoming videos as, I, um, as I'm able to. And we'll go from there. Thank you for watching. I'm Chain Smoking Mike. Rock and roll as always. And, if you can, and if you appreciate them, get some older bills. Save them if they're really good and spend the ones that are in kind of shit condition because i'm telling you you're going to stand out from the crowd in a good way take care and thank you for watching